Citizens of the Reject Nation, we are back, joined by the Tara Erickson. Hello! What are we watching today, Tara? The Fantastic Four, the second one. Rise of the Silver Surfer. Neither of us have seen this movie. Nope. If you didn't catch our reaction before, that was Tara's first time watching and my first time re-watching after, like, I don't know, 15, 20 years, something like that. People say this one is better. I'm looking forward to this. We'll see. Right here, right now. First order of business, go ahead, leave a like. We know how that feels. Tara, what do they do? Ring that bell. Ring the bell. Ring, 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 the ring, bell. ring. The subscribers are coming. Did you just turn into the hunchback of Notre <laughs> That's Day? what I did. <laughs> and lastly, full length three action watch along where you sync up your own copy of Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. We were watching this on the D Plus, available for our super sexy rejects at our Patreon page. Massive thank you to all who have joined us because we've been covering so much stuff lately. We'll still cover many things exclusively over there with reaction highlights and watch alongs included. Enough chit chatting. Let's watch watch it. <laughs> Is this a volcano? They were looking at a planet. Oh, that's doom and gloom. Whoa. There he is. Whoa. That's cool. It's like an actual alien coming to Earth. This is the surfing silver. <laughs> Ah, neat. Whoa. Cool. That's awesome. They're getting all their diversity out in the first few minutes. <laughs> That's where we live. We don't get anything fun. We just get a power outage. <laughs> okay. The much anticipated wedding of fantastic couple Reed Richards and Susan Storm will take place this oh. Saturday. Oh, neat. Unbelievable. It's happening again, isn't it? Uh, yeah, sure. We're not postponing anything. Not this time. This is going to be the wedding you've always dreamed of. And I'm not going to let anything get in the way of that. This is what's really at stake. <laughs> just a little hobby of mine. Yeah? Would it make a good toy, or is it something, uh, science-y? I bet it flies. I bet it flies. Do you think it surfs in silver? So listen, uh -huh. I have a very important wedding issue I need to talk to you about. Bachelor party? Your bachelor party. Yeah. Yeah, man, get it. Frankly, I think Sue might have a problem with it. If somebody told her that you are actually investigating global disturbances and cosmic radiation instead of actually focusing on the wedding... Isn't the this important, though? <laughs> the world is falling apart. Uh -huh. But they've got a wedding to go to. A bachelor party could be fun. <laughs> but no exotic dancers. That's the whole point of the bachelor party, though, right? That's what I tried telling my wife. <laughs> uh, wedding was delayed. Doom. Cool. Spooky. They're not exotic dancers. What are they? This is hot. <laughs> You're Mr. Fantastic, aren't you? That's so awesome. <laughs> I didn't realize this was going to turn into a Fast and the Furious film. I think it's worse if they're not strippers. <laughs> and they're coming on him. <laughs> <laughs> they're just really, really hot I, single uh, women. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, good evening and welcome to the Baxter. Uh, can, can, can I help you? No, you can't use that elephant. <gasps> oh, I love him! Andre Brower. Oh, my God. And then, bang! It exploded. And in a trillionth of a second, it expanded exponentially to what became the universe we know today. You really put your powers to waste. I don't think they're just hot single girls. We think they're escorts? Whoa! Uh, he is really dancing. <laughs> uh, 
It's got that smolder going. Uh-oh. Oh, you came at the worst time. <laughs> he had never hugged those girls until just now. I was just explaining to the girls about how the big bang led to this was... Don't say bang. <laughs> These were taken by one of our spy satellites three days ago. Field personnel estimate its diameter to be 200 meters. If we're going to find out what this is all about, we need a way to locate and intercept that object. <laughs> Well, it'd be possible to build a sensor tied into the Baxter Building satellite grid, and we can pinpoint the exact location of the object. You see, I'm getting married this Saturday. Your country needs your help. The world needs your help. The wedding is that important. I know. <laughs> There's a serious threat happening. <laughs> <laughs> about what she saw back at the bar. Don't worry about it. I know you. I'm glad you had fun. Didn't seem like that after she walked in. It was nothing compared to what I did at my bachelorette party. <laughs> Talk about wild. Wild. Huh. She could get away with more because she's invisible. <laughs> she probably didn't even have one, Greg. No. It's all a little game. <laughs> oh. You're making that thing for the general. Look, uh, don't tell Johnny. Don't tell Johnny what? We're keeping this quiet. I know. Don't worry. <laughs> Men sticking together. Lying to your woman. <laughs> Lie to that woman you're going to marry, man. For science and our country. Aw. Uh, Stanley? Name? Stanley. Oh, it's going yeah, by Stanley? Uh, nice try, buddy. Nice no, no, try. really. Nice I'm Stanley. Yeah. <laughs> so Marvel Comics exists in this world? Is my life always going to be a circus? Do you love Reed? More than I've ever loved anyone. Then you have nothing to worry about. The scientist is always concerned with her woman problems. <laughs> General, I'm putting the sensor online now. This is good. You can attract the Silver Surfer to your wedding. Cool. I like drama. I'm getting married. <laughs> oh. Oh, <geez>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like he was avoiding the fear. He was just burying it deep down. Oh my God, Doom's become a hyper scientist. You know, you don't look completely ridiculous in that dress. Is that obnoxious brother talk for you look kind of nice? You look beautiful. That's your sister, you creep. Lay off it, man. You're related. Dad would be proud. Yeah. Aw. That's, That's nice. sweet. You got an actual tender moment between them. Reed, will you shut your cell phone off? Actually, this is a... The cosmic radiation can wait. I've got a wedding. And as established throughout this entire movie, the wedding is the most important. We are gathered here today to join this couple, Reed Richards, <laughs> together. <laughs> okay. In the bond of holy matra. Reed, seriously, pull your shit together. We brought that thing to our wedding. I know, but this is a good reason. We have to get through this quickly. Oh, you mm. dick! <laughs> oh my god. There are many kinds of love. Can we just get to the end, mother. please? Oh my god, read. What? Bro, can't you control it from your phone? We lost power. Uh -oh. We're going down. We're going down. All those people, the wedding are gonna die now via a helicopter. Whoa, that looks awesome. <laughs> That's terrifying. That's so scary. Oh, my goodness. Cool. Uh, Dad! Ah! Oh, my God. Ah! 
Ice versus fire. Huh? Huh? Oh, neat. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Oh, awesome. Oh, that is cool. Oh, he looks great. What? This is a cool sequence. Can we talk? What you doing, man? Talk. You win. Whoa. Oh no. Oh man. Another world awaits. Let it be done quickly. Uh. Who? It looked like a man, but completely covered in silver, and it was flying this like like a surfboard type thing. I know that sounds crazy. So did you follow the shiny man to Lollipop Land or the Rainbow Junction? <laughs> It seems to radiate cosmic energy when it exerts itself, randomly affecting matter. Evidently, this entity, this silver surfer, surfer uh, destroyed the sensor. It knew it was being monitored? And traced it back here. We're dealing with something highly resourceful. So it's your fault the wedding was ruined. I'm not mad that you built the sensor. It was the right thing to do. Duh. Oh, great. Like it's like every, uh, this whole relationship is him saying he's sorry and assuming she's going to be like, don't do this thing. See, this proves exactly what I've been saying all along. Could you drop the force field, please? We can't even, you can't even have a wedding without it turning into World War Three. Oh, okay. Never mind. I take it back. We will never have normal lives as long as we do what we do. How could we possibly raise a family like this? They would be so lucky. Yeah, they'd have like... Little superhero babies. Like the Incredibles. Johnny getting humbled this movie. Does he have like a silver sickness? Johnny, are you okay? Maybe we should get you checked out. What did you do that? I didn't do anything. What is going on? What? They're transferring powers? Just, just hang on, I'll get you, okay? Hang on! <laughs> Sue? Sue! What's going on? <laughs> How did this happen? I touched Johnny! Give him this! Well, where is Johnny? Here. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> uh. Why does this always happen to me? Because you're the hot one. Uh, yeah. You're the hot one. This should be every moment of the movie. <laughs> Ideally, I'd like to run some more tests. Would you like to volunteer? No, 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 no. hey. <laughs> I just wanted to give him a hug. <laughs> uh -huh. It Make could it be easy. fun. No, Ben. Hey. Hey, it's me. I'm back. You've always had the cape. They have the machine. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. Come on. We just said this is serious. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do in the meantime? Just uh, try to keep your distance from us. From it's us? I'm trying to figure out who he's serving. I feel like it was the meteor or the uh, thing. Because he looked at that orange ball in the sky and then he was like, I serve you. Just ignore it. There's no getting away from it. I believe there is. How? Well, what if after this crisis is over, we leave it all behind? We quit. I'll take a teaching position somewhere. And the two of us will live our lives and raise a family like normal people. It's not all that it's cut out to be. You're a superhero. Aren't you supposed to save people? In the comics, they have kids. 
Really? And it goes splendidly. Oh, well. I didn't realize this turned into Pleasantville. You've been busy, my friend. Your talents are impressive. Can you understand what I'm saying? Uh, I'm silver. I'm not dumb. All that you know is at an end. Wait! I said wait! Oh, you're in for it now, buddy. Whoa! Oh, I thought he killed him. Yeah, I thought so, too. He, like, disintegrated into ash. You want a nice, normal, boring-ass life. What do they expect us to do? Keep it going, just the two of us? And call ourselves what? The dynamic duo? Uh. Ah. Everywhere the surfer goes, eight days later, the planet dies. And how are we going to stop them? What about the craters? Interesting. The craters is what I meant. I think it's serving a crater. (laughs) It seems like a... Galactus situation? You know Galactus. Yeah, I, I know all about Galactus. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard about Galactus being in this, so I don't think so. When I see Silver, I'm hitting them. Wait, you can't do that. We've got to stick to the plan and work as a team. Oh, so we're a team now. That's news to me. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know. <laughs> this really isn't a good time. <laughs> Kid's got a point, Reed. You should have told us. All right, all right, that's enough. We'll talk about this later. What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> yeah. Every fight is like wedding, family. Let's fight about it. <laughs> Why don't they just focus on being superheroes for a minute? Damn, Sue, your powers are impeccable. His effects are pretty good, man. Yeah, Johnny, do exactly Play what you on. did. Come on! No, Johnny! Oh, okay. Ah, oh, Johnny. Now you're switching. What a dumb dumb. Guys! What are you doing? Oh, my God. You're a better human torch. Yeah. Science, man. I wouldn't just give a head nod if someone saved my life. <laughs> I'd be like, thank you I'd so like, much. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. What's this, like, pleasant head nod? <laughs> like, we have an understanding. <laughs> I like that this one has an actual threat, though. Threat? Yeah, there's an actual threat here. We'll make adjustments. Next time, we'll be ready. We can't handle this alone. That's why I'm bringing in some help. General, you bring in more soldiers and weaponry, you're going to put innocent people in danger. No more than you already have. No shit. What? (laughs) Oh, my God, it's face. (laughs) What's the matter? (laughs) Afraid of ghosts? It's clobbering time! We need to work together to survive. You trust Victor, and you're gonna regret it. So far, the only one I've regretted trusting here is you. He's done so much for you! (laughs) He built a sensor. They saved those people from the dying high. The energy was channeled through him, but it originated from his board. If we can separate him from the board, we can cut off his power completely. Doom is smarter this time. I gotta tell you, man, I'm starting to feel like a complete screw up. Hey, hey. I mean, you kind of are. How do you want to spend your last few minutes? I'd like to spend my last couple of minutes holding Alicia. Exactly. That sounds pretty good. I mean, not the holding Alicia thing that's, you know, I can't even think of a guy that wouldn't want to. <laughs> what I meant was that it's just nice to have somebody. He's coming around to it. It's going to be all right. You have No, it won't be. The whole world's counting on me, and I just... You just need to relax. Yeah, right. You do. <laughs> you need to relax. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Slower. There you go. I can already feel your pulse slowing down. 
Oh, so is Pulse Town. Attack you on Pulse. <laughs> I love you. Glad I could help. You did. You, you want did her to good, relax, kid. slow down, learn some information, have a thought. When we activate the field, it'll separate him from his board, making him powerless. It's like a fish in a net. Oh, I can only go so fast since apparently I'm working by myself. Oh, you son of a bitch. What are you doing? You're supposed to be helping Reed in the lab. Tell him not to worry. I'll be there to hold his hand and finish his little project for him. You know, Sue, you could go invisible and just kind of stalk. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Then she's got to put back on all her clothes. It's a whole ordeal, Greg. Did you know I could create a force field inside someone's body and expand it until they explode? Give it your best shot. Just get back to the lab. I guess there's like real scenes in this movie too. We're heading to intercept the surfer in 10 minutes with or without you. Were you just waiting outside the bathroom to try and catch me in a towel? <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. Why are you so down on me? You don't even know me. Actually, I know you very well. The shower's in the middle of an office? All I've seen is a guy that almost got his team killed. I've been a little off my game lately. This is not a game. I do like the emphasis on Johnny truly maturing. <laughs> <laughs> He's learning. It's real life. It's not a game, Johnny. Give us a one-mile perimeter. Forget it, Richards. You had your shot, and you blew it. This is a military. What? You freaking far. Jesus Christ. What? What? So let me make it clear for you and your pack of freaks here. I'm the quarterback. You're on my team. Got it? Pack of freaks? But I guess you never played football in high school. What, what is this guy's personality? <laughs> I'm one of the greatest minds of the 21st century. And the big jock who played quarterback in high school, well, he's standing right in front of me asking me for my help. And I say he's not going to get a damn thing unless he does exactly what I tell him. And starts treating Good my friends moment. and me with some respect. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Lay down the law, stretchy boy. Give him what he wants. All right, that was easy. I'm so hot for you right now. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> we have a problem. What's wrong? He's here. Get out. It's surfing silver. Don't touch her. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh, yep. Yeah. Why are you destroying our planet? I have no choice. There's always a choice. I am not the destroyer. Fire one over the top. Roger out. Oh. Idiots. He's protecting her. Yeah. Whoa. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's very cool. I mean, the way they realize the Silver Surfer is pretty cool. All right, it's up. Reed. Got him. Fishnet. Oh, doom. Uh. Ah. It's interesting how he morphs into like practical design. <laughs> Where is he? Contained. We have work to do. I want to be there for the questioning. That's not going to happen. Please make sure our guests remain here. You need the scientists. There are certain things I'm not permitted to do because they're considered human rights violations. You're not human. I like the makeup. Yeah, he looks awesome. He protected me from the missile. Why would he do that? We need to get inside there and talk to him under the radar. If only so there was a way to get those clothes off, lady. <laughs> Get stealthy. A popcorn or something just to pass the time. I'll call it in, Mr. Stone. Great. Thank you. <laughs> you said you weren't the one trying to destroy our world. Then who is? The one I serve. Who do you serve? You have to tell me the truth. Who do you serve, man? Come on. It is known by many names. My people called it Galactus. It is Galactus. Oh! <laughs> Devour worlds. Yep. <laughs> All the worlds.
worlds and innocent people you've helped destroy? My service spares my world and the one I love. How interesting. Why did you try to protect me? You remind me of her. Kind of looks like Val Kilmer. Yeah. It is not I who draws the destroyer here. It is the beacon. What's the beacon? The source of my power. You're bored? I think he thinks I'm talking to someone. Take joy in the last few hours you have left. For he is nearly here. Okay, so... Yes! Oh, it is oh. Galactus! Oh, that's cool. Saw the shape. I helped deliver the alien to you, as promised. Now it's time to keep your end of the bargain. You can do your tests on the board. And in my presence only. Absolutely. He's gonna get all sorts of doomy, and it's just gonna bring more doomy drama. Thank you, gentlemen. The truth is, Reed is right. You guys deserve it for how you treated Reed. Yep. How did you devise this? Look at him shaking. <laughs> oh boy. Surfer. He's the only one that understands its power. Even if we break him out of this place, how are we gonna catch up to Victor? Leave that to me. I'm a scientist. The jet? Is it the jet? Pull that cover off, baby, and show us what you got. Cool. Where is General Hager? He's dead. If we don't get him out of here, we're all gonna be Frankie. Listen to me. I'm the son. I'm smarter mm. than hot. Why is nobody like Is Von Doom, girl? <sighs> Booyah. This is by far the coolest thing you have ever done. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That's pretty dope. Are you serious? Guys. We're lucky this thing can carry you. I can fly circles around Guys. you flying oh, free. Shut up! <laughs> I'm driving. Flame on! Does he need to say flame on? He didn't when he was saving the London Eye, which is why I said it. So I don't really know. Victor is out there somewhere with unlimited power, and we've got a giant intergalactic force that's about to destroy our planet in less than 24 hours. I've got a lock on Victor's energy trick. Nice expositional recap. Whoa, what the hell was that? Victor, the board is drawing the destroyer here. You have to give it up. You know, I've never been the giving type, Reed. <laughs> it's like a Power Rangers villain now. Oh. Holy, Holy shit. Junk. We're gonna have to split up. What? This ought to be fun. Stay close to me, Joe. Cool. Really pissing me off. Surf's up, metalhead. Nicely yeah. done. Yeah. You guys are becoming international terrorists. Destroying artifacts left and right. just happened. Uh-oh. No! 
He's going to catch you and give us... Uh, oh, okay. He's not. He is here. Doom, you're being a moron. Yeah, like, he's, he's always being, been He's being one. stupid right now. Like, really stupid. Victor's got to have a pulse emitter linking him to his board. If we take it out, he's too strong for me. I could wail on him if I could get close enough, but he could see me coming from a mile away. Touch her, she's dying. You'll become invisible. And maybe just one of us. We don't know what it could do to you. Let's not make this about me. It's time to become selfless. He's a growing boy. Flame on. To quote a friend of mine, it's clobbering time. Oh my God, he's combined all oh, the he has powers. All powers? Yeah. Oh, uh, cool. Smart. He's like a snake. He's like Jafar. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Ah, ha ha ha. You ain't going down fighting, kid. Not without me. Boing. Fun. Good luck swimming in all that metal, buddy. He'll find a way. They always do. So Doom's just like an entity this time around. I mean, uh, Galactus. They didn't just do it, did they? What? Can he just touch her and she'll heal? Like, when Von Doom first touched him, he started to heal up, right? Uh, he needs his board. Oh, yeah, right. The whole board thing. All right, there we go. Let me take my sweet time. <laughs> now save the girl. You gotta go. Not before I save her, cause she reminded me of the one. There yes, we go. Okay. Treasure each moment with her and tell her she was right. Yes. We do have a choice. That's cool. Surfing silver. That's great. I think the serious moments hit so much better than this <laughs> one. <laughs> Thought you could use a hand. Oh my god. <laughs> What's the Silver Surfer gonna do? How could it? How could he? How could he stop it? I will no longer serve. Yeah, talk some sense into him. This is the end for us both. Oh, he sacrifices himself. These are some great visuals. See his face. There it is. Cool. That looks awesome. Christ-like. Whoa. All right. Surf and Silver, you thought he was the bad guy, but now he's the hero. What I miss. <laughs> <laughs> she is ridiculously attractive. <laughs> <laughs> she is. <laughs> oh, whoa. Hey. Hey, wait. Yay. I'm not changing. Hey. That's right. <laughs> Hug him. Hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I guess this is it. We all go our separate ways. If it wasn't for the team, the whole world would be gone by now. We can't run away from our responsibilities and the people we need to protect. Yeah, you jackasses. Why would you dare question them? <laughs> what about having a normal life? A family? Who says you have to be normal to have a family? Yeah. Welcome to the Incredibles, but the four Credibles. 
Did they want this to get released in China? Is that what was go- going on here? I guess so. Or is this Japanese? Am I racist? I think it's Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese. You know nothing. <laughs> Spanish rib. Science. Venice is sinking into the Adriatic. Oh boy. Can we just skip to the end? <gasps> Cute callback. I now pronounce you man and wife, and you may kiss the bride. Hey. All right. Okay. We should get out of here. Yeah. She came around. <laughs> I do like this one more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but only because of the ending. She's going to catch it, and he's going to be like, uh-oh. Heads up, Johnny. Burn them. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's great. Yeah. Well, now you know. Reflex. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Right for her in the sky. Uh, <laughs> yeah, waste your time. Butter, <laughs> <laughs> bump. Skip to the end was the best callback in this movie. We shall see if there is a post credit scene. Well, well, well. Oh. He lives. There it is. His eyes open. Do you see that? No. Eye, then the board flew to him, so it's a sign that he's alive. So he's like big and huge and stronger now because he's living with Galactus inside of him, and he's also surfing silver. So he's like a Galactus surfing, surfing Galactus. I don't know. That's I know. He's a surfing Galactus now. Let's talk about it. Well, Tara, you have officially <sighs> experienced the Fantastic Four. I have. Franchise, um, what did you think about it? Everyone thought you hated the last one. (laughs) I didn't hate it, but I didn't hate this one. It got good in the middle, and the end and the callbacks were my favorite. Once they combined powers, I was like, yeah. There was too much yelling at Reed. I was like, there is no reason for this guy to be so upset at Reed. Reed has only ever done the right thing and built you the thing and been around with his his lackeys trying to help you out, man. Yeah. Uh, so that part, I did not feel was justified. I feel like you mean the be- army people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like yelling at him so much, I forget what his name was, but the sergeant yelling at Reed just like left and right. I was like, why this is. That's the part I didn't like because I didn't feel like it was justified. Like It was it a little odd. It was just out of nowhere. Why don't you do this? Fulfill this. Fulfill this. You made one mistake. Oh, <laughs> yeah. my God. You're punished off. <laughs> and we're bringing in Von Doom now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but otherwise, I had I had fun. I did like this one better. This one felt like a real movie to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They have more real moments, right? Yeah. Yeah. This this one felt more confident, more assured in how they handled the direction. Um, I liked the way it was shot better. It looked better. The comedy did not get better for me. No. But this movie took itself more serious overall, and that actually worked better for me. Yeah. And I I liked their everyone's chemistry a lot more. Like everything I thought it was actually other than it, it didn't get funnier for me. I did like the bouquet moment a lot. At the very end. That was great. That that was was a good moment. That was hilarious. But the rest of it, I agree with you. I didn't really laugh that much. Like when uh, he gets into the wall and he's like, oh, that hurt. And he's like, I'm back here. I was like, this isn't, it's not hitting home for me. Yeah, a lot of the comedy felt a little, the comedy felt more off to me. In fact, that's where I felt the movie was a tad bit at odds with itself. Like I liked the first time. I liked the first time the switching of powers happens. Like when Jessica Alba is a fire that that was funny. Um, when Reed's first rushing through the wedding, that was fun. Like there, there's like so few moments that I thought were actually funny that I can recall what each one of those is. Yeah. Or like the first time Chris Evans become uh, gets the thing uh, powers w- was fun. So yeah. Oh, uh, but I thought there was actual stakes this time around. Yeah. Uh, it was focused. It did because it it had like a clear threat and villain throughout. 
Um, I thought the visuals were actually great. They were really good. They were really great they awesome. visuals. <laughs> yes, yeah, I agree with that. The whole thing with Galactus and the cosmic, and, and actually keeping Galactus obscured and not seeing. Because I'll show you what like, I'll show you what Galactus looks like. Oh, fun! Show you a photo. Let's go on a Galactus adventure. And I'm, I'm, I, I'm by no means like a Galactus expert. Just I've heard about Galactus for so long. I feel like you're saying Galactus a lot. That yeah, you to want make it them seem to realize like, like yeah. you are. I want them to think I'm like an expert by just yeah. saying Galactus. I knew I enough knew that's to what kinda, you were doing. You were doing. Like, they feel like we've been building a Galactus for so long in the MCU that I've become so yeah. Devourer well, that's of, what he's doing. That's what he looks like. Planets. Yeah. Cool. So you, at, at first, I was confused. Like, okay, I guess it's just a energy entity thingy and then you would see elements and hints at its face just very obscure but i actually uh. like the way they realized him for this go around and i think it would have been a little too much if they just made it like i'm another being you know um, yeah because it is but to keep it focused on silver surfer and uh, and the uh, flipperoo that's where i was going like oh, silver surfer was a good person so to have the to have the flipperoo there i like silver surfer for performance a lot the combination oh, heck yeah the body language and voice of Launch Fishman. I like this one. The first half hour, I was that like, was a little rough. It was yeah. a little slow, and I was like, "Why is the wedding the villain here? I'm tired <laughs> of it. Like, oh, we, like, oh my god, yeah." But yeah. then it picked up. Yeah, I think in the first half hour, I was, I was like, "Everyone is full of shit. This is not better. <laughs> this is not the better this one. Is, this is actually feeling more tedious." To be <laughs> it, it was at the when the when he started rushing through the wedding when I was like, "Oh, oh, this is getting good." Yeah. Oh, oh, this is a better movie. Yeah, this yeah. is a better movie <laughs> overall. <laughs> I just, I felt like it, especially in the beginning, there was all this talk of the wedding, and they always pushed Jessica Alba's character into like, well, I need to write invitations, and I have to dress to get to, and there's just, there's no time. Like, they pushed her into this, like, she just cares about a wedding and, like, being yeah. a wife so much, and then he's like, don't tell don't tell her that I'm, I'm doing the right thing that we all are here for with our superpowers, like, as if yeah. she would be like, no, no, you're not going to... It was so funny, because that was another part that I was upset about, because I'm like, she's literally never said, don't make that thing. She probably would have been like, yeah, we can postpone a couple of days, because it's not like you're sleeping with some people yeah. with your bachelor party you're making a thing to save the world right that kind of annoyed me that they were like don't it's a hush hush i thought they had zero chemistry the first time around jessica and reed yeah i know i, I keep calling her jessica what's her name storm sue storm yeah. yeah 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 i thought they had zero chemistry this time this i time actually believe them as a couple yes i believe johnny and uh sue as a, as brother and sister yeah, I, I I liked all that much more, and and even for what they did with because yeah, it is in the first one especially she is just you're hot, and I think they I think she was yeah. she's talked publicly about it that they told her she had to just pretty much be a pretty like they didn't want her to come across um, smart, capable, and shit oh, like yeah, that. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. And I think they they transition her. Like, I really like the wraparound at the end where she's the one rushing through the wedding. That yes. she's not like, not like, oh, come on, Reed. Like, she's the one like, we got to hurry this up, you know? Like, yeah. okay, this is, that that actually absolved a lot of that for me yeah. to watch her and to have the connection with Silver Surfer. Granted, she is just like, you know, the woman still of like, you remind me all these planets and there's only one person right. <laughs> this whole time. You remind yeah. me of my wife. Uh, so yeah, I I still overall liked her. I like what they do with Johnny a lot more too. Cause, oh yeah, he really grew. Yeah, because that shtick could have gotten old, but they they matured him here. Uh, matured him, yeah. except for the burning the the flowers at the end. Yeah, he went back it, to it a little bit of boyhood, though. but it was great. It was that charming, moment was though. great. He's not gonna fully change. I mean, yes, yeah. he changed a little bit in a good way. The first one had it with the thing more of a character. Here he's just kind of to the side. I don't really recall what he did. I know he did some stuff. What do you mean? Like, did he do anything in this movie? <laughs> 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 like, uh, he punched something once in a while. He held that. He held up that that Ferris wheel or something. Yeah, like that, he, that had, he, he said "flame on" twice. The thing. Yeah, the flame on thing. What do you mean? The flame on. He said flame on twice. Thing, That's what he did. Ben Grimm, the rock thing, said flame on. Oh, my on. God. You said that you were talking. I thought you were talking about Storm. I, I said the thing like twice. Oh, you did? 
Yeah. My bad. You're not listening. <sighs> Obviously part not. of acting is listening. Yeah, I know. And reacting. Reacting is actually the biggest part. People, apparently, they say that. They're like, acting is reacting. And I'm like, all right, everybody if, calm down. If, yeah, if it goes in one ear, not the other. I'm trying yeah. to think of what my line is. Come on <laughs> Please now. leave me alone. Come on now. <laughs> the thing, what did he do? He, he, he was like, listen, I'll stop this rock. And that hurt. And he said, clobber in time once. <laughs> That's it. Oh, and he brought his own big cups to the bar because he's <laughs> learned. He's learned. And um, uh, he kind of, um, he, he did the flame thing with his finger. So it kind of justified like, oh, your power, your flame on boy power is yeah. cool. Because he got to experience it. That's what he did. You know, I don't, um, I, like the, I like the relationship that he forms with Johnny too here. Yeah, they it's have, much better. It's like it, like right. They 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 kind of become. There's an understanding now. Yeah, like a more of a brotherhood. You know, it's weird. Is Tim Tim Story, the director of this? He did Barber Shop. He did the latest Shaft movie. He just did a a movie that came out over the weekend. I think it's called The Blackening. Got great reviews. Another comedy. Okay. Got amazing. <laughs> it's it got amazing reviews, and. And yet, I feel like his weakest spot in this movie is, is, the, com- comedy. is the comedy. <laughs> yeah. And the- you're saying Tim Story directed The Blackening. Yeah, Tim Story said like he's mainly he does comedies. He does like what are the other things he's done? I just listed them. <laughs> you listed one. The I Blackening. Said Barbershop, the latest Shaft movie. Why oh are you not listening? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I really, I, maybe I'm not. But I have. I don't think seen- there's a maybe here. I'm there's like I'm a hundred percent confident you're you're just frankly like. Not listening at all to anything I'm saying. <laughs> I'm trying to help out here. I haven't seen. I don't think I, it's been a long time since I've seen the barbershop. The latest you he said, did ride along and ride along too. Okay. Think like a man too. Kevin Hart. What now? It was very funny. I did laugh at that. Man. And Kevin Hart is hilarious. So okay, he does comedy, but like that's mostly Kevin Hart driving the comedy. I mean, he still has to like direct the movie. You're still like disregarding <laughs> Kevin Hart's also does some comedies that are not uh, funny. So uh, <laughs> you still need a good director. It's really, haven't seen really Queens. under recognizing the, He's the, good. the He's effort good. a director makes to assemble a film. He's and, good. I mean the the visual effects in this and everything else, great. They're just a, like we, we were saying, like the comedy didn't really hit home for me. I wish they would have done like alternates and been like, should we test these jokes to see if the pacing and the delivery works? Like, let's have some alternates. Yeah. And if those were the alternates and they put it in, then I'm like, yeah, I guess they didn't have very like that. Good ones. That bear in the woods thing. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, do you just not know what to do with with the thing? So you're 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 throwing in like a, this random joke that's not funny at all. It looks very expensive because I think that's a real bear. <laughs> that they yeah. Got. And yeah. also him blowing his nose. I was like, "What? Why are they doing these little bits with him?" And I'm like, "I'm not laughing at him being like." Yeah. yeah, I don't think they knew what to do um, with that. But the action was cool this time around. Yes. I, I like the first fight with Silver Surfer when Johnny's chasing him and, and everything on the freeway. All the absorption yeah, cool. and energy, atom yeah. material shifting things were awesome too. Uh, I, I was I was surprised by how much more I, I liked it. I thought this would just be a a better version. <laughs> There's more. They felt like a real team. Reed actually feels like a leader. Yes, finally. You know? I, I I felt that moment where he stood up to yeah. that unreasonable general to that quarterback. <laughs> He's like, "You now, I'm the quarterback." Yeah, I'm I'm the quarterback now. Uh, that moment was good. <laughs> the the Overall, yeah, I don't really have too many qualms. I mean, the first one was just kind of like so, like, all right, that's done. Um, fine, amusing, entertainment. Like the first one's probably more, more naturally, like it had funnier moments. But yeah, what I didn't like was Doom. I did not. I like the way Doom looks. I could not. I understand they're going for he's power hungry and whatever. Like I totally get that. Mm-hmm. The choice, though, for me was like, this is so illogical what he's doing, though. I agree. Because like, he's going to die in the process, I know, right? Like, this is so like, stupid what he's doing. If he brings in Galactus, <laughs> like, he's going to die, too. Yeah, there's no way he can defeat this guy, this the right. Galactus. He doesn't know what he's dealing with. And clearly, like, listen and 
I understand the choice. Like, he's so power hungry. He's such a narcissist. He's so egotistical. He's not going to listen. I'm like, yeah, sure. Okay, whatever. It still rings as stupid to me. It, it was it was dumb to me. Um, yeah. And it felt like it was just prolonging the runtime here. And they just wanted to hit their 90-minute mark on their film. Yeah, because it's funny because in the first movie, Von Doom was like a smart guy that ran this big business, even though it didn't really fully succeed. But he did make that thing. He went out into space and, like, whatever yeah he was a guy that like built this strong empire right Mm -hmm. and then it just sort of skipped to like him being healed up but like a darth vader like and then healing up to take another power and i'm like bro like don't you have stuff to do yeah like and and i didn't get the general um yeah is there something i completely missed about him getting on board with doom just fucking teaming up with them because I understand he had information off the off the off the surveillance thing on his helicopter that he gathered, but after that, it's like, dude, you should read like shit. Von Doom is clearly a bad guy right. in the first. Like, do you remember the horrendous crimes he did in the first one? To the point you had to lock him in a freaking crater and yeah. ship him off. He was clearly a bad guy, so I think his service was done by that point, and they didn't even treat him remotely close to being a prisoner they he was he was like you're our buddy (laughs) you know at the whole time he just like got to do whatever he wanted which is why it made me so mad that they kept yelling at reed and i'm like reed has been the only one basically working for you and then they they blatantly say out loud when the sergeant is there of like looks like i'm doing it alone now and then jessica alba storm goes to look for uh doom yeah because she's like Ah, I've, I've got a brain right now in this movie, and why isn't he here helping him? Um, which she had much more of a brain in, in this film, oh, I feel like, for yeah. sure, which I liked. Um, but I found that odd that I'm like, why wouldn't, like, why is no one calling him out besides Storm? Like, being like, why aren't you here helping? I brought, the sergeant brought Doom there to help them, and then Reed's like, I guess I'm doing it alone now, and nobody else questions it. Yeah, yeah. That was That was a little odd to me. That was um, definitely odd. Because he's down there making his, his arm stuff so he can do the juice, you know? Yeah, that was good stuff. Overall, though, I thought the dramatic scenes hit a lot better. I took it. I was able to take it serious. The only part that would pull me out is the comedy. But then when, when, it's, when it's sincere heart shined through, yes. when it had those little bits of humor, I like I like those moments. Like the end when they're all hugging each other, I'm like, I really feel this. This doesn't feel forced. Like the, I feel this moment right yeah. now. Even Silver Surfer being like, she's right. There, everyone has a choice. Like, you tell her that. I'm like, I feel this moment. I like I, that. I actually am feeling stuff <laughs> for this movie <laughs> versus the last one, which is kind of a blank experience of amusement to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that I was, I, I, I thought this had more of the emotional high notes, and it's. I feel like even a third film would have improved it uh, that much more. So. It's nice to see that there's an improvement on this, and I can under. I I wonder if this one was a box office failure. Let's look uh, it up. All right. Let's look it up before wrapping up this video. And like when he said, "Dad would be proud," I liked that a lot between him and his sis. I believed yeah. that, and I was like, "That's so sweet." I felt like Tim's story heard the criticism and knew how to to, to switch it. See the the first half hour though felt like it was having some growing pains in the shifting, and then this one. Yeah, still did really well. I don't know why they didn't get a third one. What happened here? The first one, it, it only made 30, okay, it cost $30 million more, but made $30 million less. Huh. Um, which is, I mean, a lot of times sequels will not make as much money, but that's pretty close. It's not like it fell complete. Like for a movie that was so panned by audiences and critics to still come back with that, I don't right. know, maybe it just still wasn't pretty as liked. Strong. Um, or maybe this one just kind of because I, I know that I know both of these movies have more of a nostalgia now. Oh my god, they list Galactus right there in the plot description. They do Universal Surfers <laughs> of Surfers and like, Penny eating I'm Galactus. I'm so good at guessing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I could have just read the plot description this whole time. <laughs> All righty. Uh, what would you give it out of ten? Um, a seven. I would say a seven as well. Last one was like a. Like a 
Like yeah, five I don't want to. Yeah, six for I me. was gonna go five, and then I'm like, is that too like harsh? And so like, yeah, five and a half, six. As, yeah, this one hovers. This one's seven. Like a seven to seven point five. This this hovers. The uh, ending is really was my favorite part. I was like, yeah. the ending and what is happening here. I liked all of it. Skip yeah. to the end. Burn the flowers. Blah blah blah, and they all go off, and I was like, "Yeah, I like yeah. it." It was solid stuff all around. Glad we could do this franchise together, Tara. Yeah, yeah. Now, now there's another one. Another. They re they they decided to reboot it. Oh. And the, uh, it's called fan. It's Fantastic Four. Yeah. And they wanted to go for a serious, dark approach. Really? And I'm telling you right now. <gasps> It was not well received. Really? It was worse. It is. Like really bad or what? I've seen it twice. You've seen it twice? I'm half tempted just to watch it again with you. Yeah, duh. What are you talking about? There's another one. It's dark. I got to see it. We have to do it now. It's not good. (laughs) Am I going to be suffering like through it? How long is it? It's 90 fun. minutes of a bad movie I can do. It's not- I just want you to... Ex- it starts off like, this is all right, to what's happening? Uh-huh. <laughs> 2015, I want to say. An hour and 40 minutes. 140? See, people called it... Oh, Okay. Fan four stick because they put the four for some reason as the A. Yeah, uh, really. It's got Michael B. Jordan. Oh, I love him, but I love um, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, drummer. Miles, T- Miles Thank Teller. Thank you so much. I love Miles. I want to watch it. He's sh- great. Just to see your reaction. Why haven't I seen this? Who is the who's Storm? Kate Mara. Okay. And who is that? Michael Chiklis still or no? That is not Michael Chiklis. Okay. And they don't make they don't make him practical effects. Oh, they he's all CG. Yes. I don't like it. Okay. I'm half tempted to just. I think you should be fully tempted to just. We're gonna have to watch it. It's just so I could see your okay. <laughs> sit here. And be I like, like. I love. All those actors i'm like it's really it's that like not good but well who Uh, directed it the 2015 one a guy named josh trank okay well (laughs) i don't know so there's a whole story behind everything that went wrong with that movie really it was just a disaster show behind the scenes and it shows on screen seems like just like a glamour magazine gossip column waiting to be read yeah aka watched by me the behind the scenes is more interesting than the actual movie. Can we like watch it and then we look up the behind the scenes juice after? Yeah. Right? That's the real movie. <laughs> well, guys, yeah. where do you rank Rise of the Silver Surfer? Leave your thoughts down below. Be sure to subscribe. Leave a like. Ring it a bell, ring it a bell, ring it the bell. That was a new song. I just made it up right now. I would give it Four and a half stars. So let's end this with the patron of the day. Shout okay, out. let's do it. Aniso Oliva. If I was Galactus, I'd want to devour you. <laughs> I feel like eating you would also allow me to consume your energy and soul, which is so kind and giving, fortuitous, Aww. sympathetic. And I feel like I could finally be a good person. But it starts by doing an evil deed first. Yeah. An ironic part, which would be I'd have to first murder you by swallowing you. But devouring, then he would be good. You, that I would be good. So you'd be doing even a good deed. What You'd be a better person by sacrificing yourself. Yeah, like the I mean, surf and silver. Like the surf and silver. Yeah. You would be a better person by just allowing yourself to die to make me a better person. And then... And make my time here more enjoyable. And then Tara would have is a really... Really, you got to go, Anissa. Yeah. You got to go. You've got to skedat, and by skedat, I mean get eaten. Get by eaten. By Gregory Alba. You won't even be buried six feet under. You would just be just digested. Be living in there. hmm Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a good talk. I hope you, <laughs> I hope you, uh, you know, get your will going, write the stuff down that you want to give away. 
And like, when do you plan on eating her soon? Or like, are you going to wait? I'm going to wait for a live stream. Oh, oh, good, good, good. So you have to invite her over, right? To like eat her. Yeah, because okay. like Galactus like devours. I'm thinking going bit by bit on you, Anissa. Oh, like, like fucking like, knife. If you super chat $5, we do a toe. Amazing. We do a whole foot, you know? Um, so uh, I feel like it could be a real good morbid experience, and you got to be awake for it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. That's a real sacrifice. But again, would take would make my time here more enjoyable, and and would take him into into goodness, yeah. into the goodness land. Well, let's let's face it. That live stream is not going to be monetized on playback, so we need to get as much super chats yeah, as possible. Yeah, I mean, you better be chatting it, and it better be super. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting it done. Otherwise, I'm stuck here with him as he is, and we all know that is. <laughs> Not anything I would normally sign up for, but, you know, I sacrifice my time to be here for you guys, you know, because I know it makes it easier on you guys when I'm here because <laughs> him on his own is just like, well, it's Greg again, you know. I don't ever say one mean thing about <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Thanks, Anissa. 